Enlargement of the hands and feet. Enlargement of the forehead, jaw, and nose. It is acromegaly. Acromegaly is a disorder that results from excess growth hormone, GH, after the growth plates have closed. If excess growth hormone secreted during childhood and teen ages, it is called gigantism. Acromegaly is usually caused by the pituitary gland producing excess growth hormone. In more than 95% of cases, the excess production is due to a benign tumor, known as a pituitary adenoma. Usually the condition is not genetic. Acromegaly is rarely due to a tumor in another part of the body. Acromegaly affects about 6 per 100,000 people. It is most commonly diagnosed in middle age. Males and females are affected with equal frequency. It was first described in the medical literature by Nicholas Saucerot in 1772. The term is from Greek acron meaning extremity and mega meaning large. Common symptoms of acromegaly. Headaches, often severe and prolonged. Soft tissue swelling visibly resulting in enlargement of the hands, feet, nose, lips and ears, and a general thickening of the skin. Soft tissue swelling of internal organs, heart kidneys, also the vocal cords resulting in a characteristic thick, deep voice and slowing of speech. Pronounced brow protrusion, often with ocular distension, frontal bossing. Skin tags. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Problems with bones and joints, including osteoarthritis, nerve compression syndrome due to bony overgrowth. Complications of the acromegaly. Hypertension. Diabetes mellitus. Cardiomyopathy, potentially leading to heart failure. Colorectal cancer. Sleep apnea. Thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer. Hypogonadism. Compression of the optic chiasm by the growth of pituitary adenoma leading to visual problems. About 98% of cases of acromegaly are due to the overproduction of growth hormone by a benign tumor of the pituitary gland called an adenoma. These tumors produce excessive growth hormone and compress surrounding brain tissues as they grow larger. In some cases, they may compress the optic nerves. In a few people, acromegaly is caused not by pituitary tumors, but by tumors of the pancreas lungs and adrenal glands. These tumors also lead to an excessive growth hormone, either because they produce growth hormone themselves or, more frequently, because they produce growth hormone releasing hormone, the hormone that stimulates the pituitary to make growth hormone. In these people, the excess growth hormone releasing hormone can be measured in the blood, and establishes that the cause of the acromegaly is not due to a pituitary defect. When these non-pituitary tumors are surgically removed, growth hormone levels fall and the symptoms of acromegaly improve. Diagnosis IGF-1 provides the most sensitive lab test for the diagnosis of acromegaly, and a growth hormone suppression test, following an oral glucose load, which is a very specific lab test, will confirm the diagnosis following a positive screening test for IGF-1. A single value of the GH is not useful in view of its pulsatility. GH levels taken 2 hours after a 75 or 100 gram glucose tolerance test are helpful in the diagnosis, GH levels are suppressed below 1 G slash L in normal people and levels higher than this cutoff are confirmatory of acromegaly. An MRI of the brain focusing on the cella tersica. A number of other overgrowth syndromes can result in similar problems. Pseudoacromegaly is a condition with the usual acromegaloid features, but without an increase in growth hormone and IGF-1. It is frequently associated with insulin resistance. Cases have been reported due to minoxidil at an unusually high dose. Treatment surgically remove tumor, drug therapy, and radiation therapy of the pituitary. Medical treatment of acromegaly is to use somatostatin analogs, octreotide, sandostatin, or lenreotide, somatoline. These somatostatin analogs are synthetic forms of a brain hormone, somatostatin, which stops GH production. The long-acting forms of these drugs must be injected every two to four weeks for effective treatment. Most people with acromegaly respond to this medication. Prognosis. Life expectancy of people with acromegaly is dependent on how early the disease is detected. Life expectancy after the successful treatment of early disease is equal to that of the general population. Without treatment, life expectancy is reduced by 10 years, with treatment, life expectancy is not reduced. Upon successful surgical treatment, headaches and visual symptoms tend to resolve. One exception is sleep apnea, which is present in around 70% of cases, but does not tend to resolve with successful treatment of growth hormone level.